in today's town square controversy over the president's plans for Memorial Day. Instead of visiting Arlington National Cemetery, the president will be appearing at a cemetery in Chicago where he's headed for vacation. Vice President Biden will take the president's place at Arlington instead. Joining us now is Paul Rykoff, executive director of Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans for America. Paul, you served in Iraq in 03 and 04. Thank you for your service. We did a little checking. Apparently, the past four presidents have all, at one point or another, missed Arlington on Memorial Day, all paying service and homage to our veterans, as we all do in their own ways. So why is it? troublesome that President Obama, instead of being in Arlington, is going to be in Chicago. I think those presidents made a mistake, too. Arlington is the focal point for the military community, for the veterans community, for the Gold Star families that have lost folks in all generations of combat. That's where our nation's attention is focused. The president has a huge opportunity to connect the military to the American public. And when everybody's focused in Arlington and he's somewhere else, it looks like a disconnect. Not to mention Section 60, where uh, hundreds of Iraq and Afghanistan veterans are buried, is also located in Arlington. It's incredibly important symbolic. And we need the president Look, to show that. Paul, I certainly agree. There is a symbolism to Arlington that is unique, that is special. I have no doubt that President Obama will be there many times over the course of his presidency. But also, doesn't it help when he goes to cemeteries that are cemeteries for our veterans in other parts of the nation? This one, in fact, named after President Lincoln, who was responsible for creating, I think, many of the cemeteries for veterans. So doesn't that have a symbolism as well that is useful and to get out of Washington, connect with people in many other ways? It does. But there will be 350 Gold Star children at Arlington. Every Every major veterans group in America will be at Arlington. This is not a partisan issue. What he's got to do is show Americans that Memorial Day is not about barbecues. Most Americans are going to be heading to the beach. Most veterans are going to be going to a cemetery. We need him to be there with us to stand up and lead by example. That's why he needs to be at Let me just I agree with you. This should not be partisan. I think we all owe homage to and, and deference to our, to our veterans. But the fact that Presidents Reagan and both Bushes and President Clinton did the same thing, I don't recall that they no, were, they, they they were, were they, they, they're criticized for this. They should have been. And we also weren't fighting two wars simultaneously. So if he's going to continue to lead, be the commander-in-chief. He needs to be with the troops. And the troops, the military families, Gold Star families are at Arlington. We appreciate your being here today. Will you uh, hope, we hope you have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Thank you. And in fact, we do in fact pay homage to all our veterans. That does it for us. I'm Elliot Spitzer, in for Dylan Radigan.